Today I have the house myself and I'm going to make a buddy burner, also known as a hobo stove, depending what part of the world you're from. We need is a candle, a tin, this one here is a mattress fire set tin. Um, I like it's nice and small compact and it has a nice little lid. I've seen people use Altoid t uh, tins before, um, depends what you have. And last but not least, some cardboard. Candle in hot water. Leave it there until it fully melts. So this is what it looks like once I finally compacted all the cardboard in. Don't worry about not having a few spaces in between each layer of cardboard, you want a bit of space. Otherwise if you make it too compact when you pour the wax in, it's actually going to overflow and not actually go inside. Yes, I know what you're thinking, I could have used some newspaper underneath but that, it's easy to clean up anyway. And like I said, the wife's not in. Never been a fan of doing a lot of takes when you're making a video. However, you sh actually see the mess you could make if you don't put newspaper or a tray underneath it. I think it's a bit more real that way. And this is why it's good to put something underneath it because it can actually, it's not impossible to remove, but it is a bit of a nightmare. Wick up the candle. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and actually make you look at the depth of the tin. Yeah, walks about pretty much in half. So, knife will do. Just go in to the bottom, make a little opening. Insert your wicker so so you can get the other one. I've heard people argue you could do this at the beginning before you actually put the wax in. Mm. Okay, yeah, fair one. I don't know about doing it this way, maybe I'm set in my ways. Okay. 
But there you have it, buddy burner, also known as hobo stove. And the beauty about it is, grab the lid, put it on top, 